Holly Myers, I play wing, and my club is Southampton Spitfires. Who inspired you? Um, it was my mum who inspired me. She played rugby um, and ran for Great Britain, so she was my sport inspiration. This is your first um, World Cup, your first international tournament actually, isn't it? Yeah, it is. How does it feel? Uh, amazing. Uh, it's been a bit of a whirlwind. Um, my first training session with the squad was back in November. Um, so from being in the reserve squad then to being selected at the end of May was just amazing. How did you get involved in rugby league in the first place? Um, rugby league has always been in my blood. My granddad played for Lesse in Hall KR. My brother played league when he went to university in Leeds. Um, and I'd always been the union person in the family, but a couple of summers ago, one of my the Southampton Spitfires women's team was set up. One of my friends said, oh, do you want to come out for kickabout? Went, absolutely loved it. And that's it, ever since you've been a, a league aficionado, yeah. really? Yeah. So when you were first picked for the England squad, describe that occasion for me. Um, first, I was a bit gobsmacked, then I started crying, then I went silent for a bit, and then I told my family. <laughs> Um, yeah, they were really pleased, really proud of me and done it for family and friends being amazing support, like for my training and getting me from A to B, like for training and matches, so I've got to thank them for all of that. I suppose you're the, a, a bit of a, how can we put it, a trailblazer down south really for Rugby yeah. League. Um, are you going to be a poster girl, do you think, for Rugby League down in that part of the world? Um, maybe. My club's already posting all photos and all the links on Twitter and Facebook. So, yeah, we'll see. <laughs> what do you want to get from this World Cup? Um, first cap, hopefully I'll get into 17, starting 13 would be amazing. Um, and the experience, definitely like to stay in the England setup after this and continue. I reckon I'll have a, well, looking from that Gilmore, I reckon I'll have a couple of World Cups for me after this. In terms of the biggest um, competition within the World Cup, we've got France, New Zealand, Australia. Who is the team to beat? Um, we've got to look at the first match, we've got the Aussies first up, we've got to beat them if you want to get to the final basically. So take one game at a time and go to the drawing board, then we've got New Zealand who will be a massive challenge. We need to play it out. But Friday can't come quickly enough for you, can it? I know, I can't wait. <laughs>